And three, two, one. <laughs> Hi vlog, so next week we have the neuro exam. It is supposed to be the hardest unit, at least talking to the upperclassmen, it's the hardest unit of medical school. It's next week, I am not ready, but I mean, I have seven days to get ready. So watch this vlog to see how it is that I get myself ready for the neuro exam. Right now I am getting ready to go to our SAS session. This SAS is by Dr. Selinski, very, very well respected doctor here, lecturer here at Northwestern. It's pharmacology. I'm not good at pharmacology. I know I'm not good at pharmacology, so we definitely need to make sure that um, we're paying attention and that I get all of the important drugs that I need to know. Because at least for me, when I am dealing with a pharmacology question or watching pharmacology lectures, I'm like, oh, okay, so we're learning spells now. Wingardium, Leviosa, Bisostigmine, um, Avada Kedavra, or whatever it is. Yeah, pilocarpine, that's what it feels like. It feels like we're just learning magical spells and then associating like, oh, this word goes with this clinical correlate. So huh, we're going to put all of that together. We're gonna do this SAS session. We're gonna make sure that we take good notes. So I'm gonna take you all with me on that. And this is one of the first steps to getting ready for the neuro exam because I want to make sure that I am actively working on the things that I'm weak on. And I know pharmacology is always gonna be weak for me, but putting in the work to get better at it is what it is that I'm doing. So Northwestern, let's go. that I had going on today. So you all saw that I went to the Solinsky SAS number five for pharmacology. You all saw that I went to an SNMA alumni lunch. Very fun, loved who it was that I was being able to sit next to and just hear all the stories that she had to tell and advice, especially for me as an M2 black woman getting ready to go into, huh, not yet, not for a while, but M3 year next year, how to make a good impression on the attendings, residents, all those people who are going to be doing your, you know, evaluation. So that was very useful. And then I was actually able to go over to the hospital for one of the assignments that we have to do. I had to do a, uh, a HMP with my assigned M3. It was nerve wracking, but I was able to ask the patient questions. I was able to do some of my physical exam skills on the patient. And yeah, so now it's time to go into Galter Library and study uh, because I got a lot to study. I do, I got a lot to go over, but we're gonna get that done today. So let's head over to the library. Now it is a new day and I am heading back to Galter Library because I'm going to be meeting with some of my friends. I'm gonna be in my uh, Dr. McCoy, Professor McCoy bag because I'm going to be teaching my friends about the eye. We had a dedicated eye week. It really just was three days, but I'm going to teach them all of the lessons, the clinical pearls, buzzwords, associations that we need to know from those 10 lectures. Uh, that way we can all do really well on the I questions for our exam. So let's get into it. the end of the night. 
have been in that room for five hours. Literally from seven to 11.45 now, I have been in that room teaching my friends about the awesomeness that is ophthalmology. We had 10 lectures. It took us, well, okay, we started at 8 p.m. That's when everyone finally got into the room. And bruh, from 8 to 11.45, 8, 9, 10, 11, 45 minutes. It took longer than I expected, but we ask a lot of questions. We want to make sure that everything is being explained. So yeah, that took a while, but I'm heading home now, finally. I can sleep. Um, yeah, it felt good being able to do that for my friends, being able to explain like all of the clinical things that we've talked about, I have seen. Like I've literally seen open angle glaucoma versus closed angle glaucoma. And having those experiences be able to inform how I explain things was definitely very useful. So yeah, um, I like being able to teach them, but also solidify all the new things that they taught us for my own learning. Look at that, yep, Northwestern. Okay, so I'm heading home. I'm gonna try and get some rest. That way tomorrow, I can learn some more. It never stops. It will stop. It will stop at the end of this week on Friday. So, um, see you tomorrow. Like I said, my name is Michael. We also have two of our uh, very special neurology residents with us today, Imanuel and Naomi. So they're going to take us through the slides and then we'll start addressing the questions that you guys sent uh, over the week um, at the end. Also guide treatment against surgery, radiation, chemotherapy. Dependent uh, moments are typically involved in the ventricle, so if you see. As you can see, there were many of us that had gathered that way we could be a part of the Strive review together. And it's one of the things that I feel really solidified my learning of the neuro material. After that, I went and I did a little bit of personal self-study. And by the time that I was done with all my Anki cards, with going over some lectures, I was packing up and getting ready to go home for some rest. I am finishing up another night in the Kabiller Student Lounge. Good time. I pretty much spent it retaking, redoing the SAS questions. So SAS, it is essentially just a time for you to do practice questions relating to the lectures of the week. It's a way to test yourself to see, am I getting the material I'm supposed to be getting? And obviously, you do it the first time, you might not understand everything, but you keep doing it, you revisit the SAS questions a week later, two weeks later, once you've had the time to synthesize and apply everything that you've been taught, and then you see like, oh, I'm doing better now. So I am doing better, and many of these SASs, like, so good, so good. Except for week number three, Week number three was a lot. That's all the basal ganglia stuff. That was a lot of different diseases, clinical presentations that I'm still working on trying to understand. I'm doing better, but I know that there's still room for growth. So yeah, um, tomorrow I'm going to focus on the um, Selinsky pharmacology type things that I have been putting off but we can't do that, so we're gonna do that tomorrow. And yeah, things are great, so it's time to go back home and get some rest. Today is Monday and we have our final SAS session. There are going to be other review sessions, but this is SAS for all of last week's material. The final bit of neurology content that we had is going to be 
tested on at least today. I'm excited. I feel like over the weekend I have done a lot of good work, especially on SAS 1, SAS 2, SAS 4. SAS 5 and SAS 3 we're working on, but I feel like I prepared myself for SAS number 6 today, so we're going to see how that goes. And then we have a patient panel, and then after that, I'm getting my hair braided for Portugal. So one of the things that's really nice is I know that I take my exam on Friday, and then I'm hopping on a plane for Portugal. I'm gonna be spending my fall break there for a week with a lot of my friends, so we gotta get ready for that. I've done all this work getting ready for the neuro exam. I gotta make sure that I'm ready for my vacation too. So let's go, let's take these SAS questions. Actually, we're just gonna skip that and go straight to the braiding videos because I mean, it's a lecture hall. You've seen one, you've seen them all. I ended up getting myself some knotless braids and as you can see, I was very happy with the results. You all remember how I said, I don't really be knowing pharmacology like that. It just sounds like a bunch of spells to me. Well, your girl might be a wizard. You wanna know why? Because, oh, also, yes, hair, hair check. Yes, new hair who dis. Um, your girl got home from her hair appointment and she was like, dang, let me go ahead and take this pharmacology practice formative to see how bad I'm doing. Your girl actually passed the practice, not, not the full practice formative for like the whole unit. And three, two, one. <laughs> of neurology but at least the stuff the practice practical the practice questions for dr selinski your girl passed those and he told us that 14 of those 20 questions are going to be on the exam point blank period <sighs> guys i'm kind of a sorcerer over here i know my spells I know my words, I know my pilocarpine, I know my homoatropine, I know, I know some stuff. So we're feeling pretty good right now. That was a great way to end the night on Monday. <sighs> now I just need for every night this week to be like this. I need wins, things that boost my confidence. I think on my schedule, I'm gonna take the neuroformative, the entire unit tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. I'm feeling very good about that considering this. So yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Well, I don't know what this is for, but uh, it's gonna be for me now. Okay, let's get to SAS. Well, not SAS, let's get to the radiology review. Okay, it is now six o'clock ish on Tuesday and it's been a good day so far so this morning you saw me I had my little celebration balloon arc that was welcoming me into the case-based review for the entire neurology module uh, yes it was for me explicitly for me so that went really well I passed on all the questions and I also feel even better because a lot of the things that I was missing, I was second guessing myself on. So that gave me a lot of confidence to go, Jasmine, you know some things. You might not like, huh, you might not right now have the confidence to just pick what you want it to be. But after that, I feel much better about following my gut essentially. So I love that. And then we also had a clinical skills session today. This clinical skills was about how to counsel someone on uh, substance use disorder. And my group was very small, so I got to go twice. It was very useful. That's definitely going to be something that at some point in the future I will have to do. And you're doing this also with actors, not with real patients. Oh, also, we got dinner. I love Panera. 
love, love, love Panera. They are always my go-to for lunch, dinner, anytime that I am going to be spending a good three, four, five, maybe six hours in the library today. So that was good. I'm gonna go eat my dinner. Oh, also, today is Tuesday. Tuesday is voter registration day. I hope that you are registered to vote. If you are not registered to vote, go ahead and open a tab. That way you can register to vote because this is a very important election. Not gonna tell you who to vote for, but make sure that you are well educated. Well, also first, just make sure that you're registered and please go and vote. So yeah, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna eat my dinner. And then after that, I am going to take the practice exam for the entire neurology unit. It is 67 questions. So I'm going to have to sit and work through that, but it'll be good to see how much I've been able to grow over the last, what, four days that I've been really, really dedicating myself to studying this neurology stuff. So yeah, let's go. Okay, we are now at the end of me taking the practice formative, we are also at the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching all the way through. I really appreciate you being here, you watching. Um, I do have one, two and a half more days until the exam. Feeling pretty good. I know that there's gaps that I need to close, but they will be closed. They will be. So let's get ready to press this and you will be able to see oh, hello. hello i'm oh. getting ready to press to see how i did on the oh, practice no. exam how many questions was it 67. yeah, yeah it's, it's wrong long. i literally it's just long. Told, i just told baron you always double the amount of questions on the formative and that's how much is on the real yeah. exam so 67 yeah we're gonna have a 120 130 question test oh, okay awesome. yeah it's gonna be rough sure but okay questions. let's press this button you got it, And three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, she Whoa, me. I killed that! Yeah. She's good. She's done. Guys, she I killed it! 53 out of 67. Yo! <laughs> that was so good. Yeah, girl. Yo! 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 Oh, that's good. Let's go. I think the thing about Meryl is it's stamina. Like it's just actually wanting to get to the end and not letting your brain stop because that would be me. But look, 67 questions an hour and a half. That's an aim, bro. Yeah, I know. Girl. I was not expecting that. Girl, wait. Now I'm worried. Oh, I think the formative is gonna be easier than exam. That's really? Why? Why does he say that? I don't know, just from what people have said. Oh, really? Girl. I mean, I guess, like, you could say, like, these questions are the thrown out they ones. They are the ones. Yeah, so, they're the bad ones. Yeah, so, but then, yeah, so I, that's why I'm always like, formative should be harder because they're and like we're bad questions. 14 Solinsky questions. Exactly. Right? Yeah, the straight up Solinsky ones. So yeah. that's why I'm not nervous about neuro. So like, y'all. I actually feel fine. Y'all, you see this? You oh. see this? Okay, also. Uh, make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you like the video. I look forward to seeing y'all once I'm done with this because there's still room to improve. There's things that I know that I had gaps I'm not on. In video. <laughs> there's things I know I had gaps on, and I'm still going to take you all through these last three days before the exam. And then also, make sure you stay tuned for Portugal afterwards. Bye, y'all. <laughs>